we've all seen boxing matches and at the beginning of every fight you see the referee brings out the two opponents and he explains to them the rules of the fight you know no rabbit punching no hitting below the belt so forth and so on but he always ends it the same way he tells both fighters protect yourself at all times Now, I just wanna highlight that for a second. Protect yourself at all times because I don't believe that that just applies in the world of combat sports or in boxing. I believe that applies in our life. And for so many of you who are go-getters and high achievers and wanna do more with your life, I am begging you, I'm pleading with you, protect yourself at all times. So many of us, we have these hopes, we have these dreams, we have these ambitions, and it's, you know, it's inside of us. Like, the, it, it's housed in us, and we, we go out and we share these ideas and we share our dreams with people, and unfortunately, so many people, they're not built the same way. They don't have that high level of expectation of themselves as you might have. They're not overachievers. They're not dreamers. They're not setting these these unrealistic goals for themselves and because they and you don't get me wrong in a lot of cases it's people who love you it's people who you, like in in real life time they have your back you know it might be a spouse it might be a family member but because they you know life hasn't treated them well or maybe they're insecure or maybe they play it safe and they want security when you come to them with these big ideas they immediately tell you the realistic answer and are you sure you want to do that and they come to you from a logical standpoint and for you you take that advice and become because it's coming from a trusted source you say well you know what you know yeah I'm, you right like like this idea it'll never work anyway and then you turn on the tv a year, two years later, and somebody then took your idea that you had two years ago, and now they are a multimillionaire. Protect yourself at all times. That thing in here, like, like you have to protect it. Like, think of this in, in real life terms. If you had buried treasure somewhere, and you knew you were sitting on millions, wouldn't you, like, I don't care what you had to do, you would be sitting there day and night making sure that nobody came to your spot and started digging up your buried treasure. Well, you have to treat that thing inside of you the same way. And it doesn't always come from the haters. I know everybody wanna cry about the haters, but it doesn't always come from the haters. Believe me when I tell you, people who are small-minded, people who have never done anything outside of the norm themselves, they will kill your dream faster than a bullet. You have to stay away from them. You have to cherry pick who you tell your ideas to. You have to cherry pick who you confide in and who's really going to support you from day one and see you, not for who you are today, but for who you have the capacity to become. Protect yourself. You know, everybody knows I'm a huge fight fan and I love Muhammad Ali, not just for the champion he was in the ring, but the person he was outside of the ring. But if you look at Muhammad Ali and for any of you guys who has ever seen the Will Smith movie um, where he portrayed Muhammad Ali, Jamie Foxx portrayed a character called Drew Bundini Brown. Now, Bundini's official title was Corner Man, um, slash assistant trainer or whatever, but his real life job, he was the original hype man. He was in Muhammad Ali's ear in between rounds, in um, practice. He was with Muhammad Ali 24-7 reminding him how great you are. You float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, rumble, black man, rumble. He was the guy who was around Muhammad 24-7 who was telling him, you are the greatest. You are the greatest. Now, when Muhammad Ali won his heavyweight championship for the first time against Sonny Liston, now, 
just to put it in perspective, Sonny Liston was Mike Tyson 30 years prior to Mike Tyson. He was the most feared man on the planet. And Muhammad Ali was, was telling everybody, I'm going to win the heavyweight championship against Sonny Liston. But nobody could see it because Sonny Liston was a wrecking ball. He was knocking everybody out. He was completely feared. But when Muhammad Ali won, there's this famous clip when he won that fight and became the heavyweight champion of the world, he ran, like literally ran, throws his hands up and just screamed, I must be the greatest. I must be the greatest. I must be the greatest. Like it had been drilled in his head so much and he only kept people around him who was reinforcing that to him. You're the greatest. You're the greatest. That when he won, he was, what? I must be the greatest. Like, like he prophesied this thing. You have to keep those people around you because those are the people who are going to help you to really reach your potential. Are you the greatest? Are you a person who is going to go out there and fulfill your dreams when nobody else sees it? Protect yourself at all times. We got to be really careful and understand something, right? Because we all have these habits. Sometimes these habits can really like damage us. People go onto social media and they're looking and they're, they're really like, sometimes it's not just a person. It's not just people around you who are dream killers. We, we sometimes go on this social media and we're scrolling and we're seeing people's highlight reel. We're seeing people who are living their best life. They're only putting up what they want you to see. And then you compare your life against them and you feel inadequate. You feel as though you are not living the life that you're supposed to be living because you're comparing it to somebody else. And that ain't even real life that they're putting up there. You have to protect yourself. You have to learn to put that, 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 that phone down. You have to learn to really only engage yourself in things that are going to help build you up and not take away from your spirit, not take away from your ambition, not make you feel as though, damn, like, like I'm so far behind everybody else. We all, we all have greatness in us. I, I, I truly believe that. We all have the ability and the capacity to do more with our lives, to inspire others, to really reach beyond our, our own imagination. But it starts in here. It starts in here. You have to make sure that you do not associate people who don't dream as big as you, that don't have a vision as, as broad scope as yours. And, and if, if, if people around you are safe, if they, they love security, if for them it's more important to get that, that bi-weekly check um, direct deposited in their mail, that, that maybe that's not the person you should be confiding in. Protect yourself at all times. Think about it. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.